Hey everyone, it is Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. It is May the 5th, 2023. I live in Ontario, Canada. This is my weekly Walmart walkthrough. I'm back with another empty shelves, food shortages, brand shortages, empty shelves, skyrocketing of food prices. And yes, the shelves are getting thin. Things are more out of stock. It's really hard to find our favorite things in the stores. And many of us are going to multiple stores to get all of our groceries. But one of our biggest problems right now, of course, is the skyrocketing prices in our grocery stores. Next week, I'm going to take more video of the prices of staples such as milk, bread, eggs, and things like that. And then I'm going to start tracking how the prices are rising. You guys to take note of these empty shelves and pockets and stick around to the end to see my grocery haul.
right guys, so here are my groceries for the week. So this little bit of food for $156. All of this was from Walmart. I usually go to two to three different grocery stores, but this week I was so tired. I was only able to go to Walmart. So tomorrow I will show you guys what I got at Food Basics. So it'll be like a part two of this video that I will attach. Okay, as I mentioned to you guys, I guess this is part two. I told you that I would be going to Food Basics to get some other stuff. So this is what I got. Some sorrel, some Greek yogurt, some mozzarella, some banana bread, lactose-free milk, strawberries, cream, some ravioli, three cheese ravioli, and the cost of all of this was $55.24. I showed you guys what's going on with the rising prices. I've showed you guys what we're paying for bread here. Somebody asked me to actually do that to kind of zoom in on the prices. Showed you guys what we're paying for cereal. And look at the price here for steak. Amazing. Notice I don't have any steak here. Uh, some months back, there was a notice on here saying that by April 30th, the shortages would come to an end, but it doesn't look like the shortages have come to an end because look at these shelves. Look at these shelves right here. Even though there is a two limit per person, I mean, this is really bad, really, really bad. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Continue doing what you're doing. Continue buying things when they're on special. Try to stock up, try to keep your freezer full when you notice that there are meats on sale. Buy some canned things. I didn't buy any canned things this week because actually my pantry is actually full. I did buy some TP here. I did buy some TP here. And whenever I see toilet paper on sale, I usually buy it. And also when I see paper towel, I would recommend that you guys do the same. Anytime you see something on special, certainly buy it. Even going out for dinner, I'm sure you guys have noticed that eating in restaurants have become even more expensive. This is our bill for a family of three. And it's a pretty basic meal, but I mean, a year ago, two years ago, this bill would have been about $50. So we're really starting to see things things are happening things are happening rapidly so i don't know what are you guys doing how are you guys coping with all of this all of the rising prices the brand shortages the shortages in general how are you guys coping let me know in the comments and thank you so very much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe